Hey guys, welcome back to the Edgewater Avenue YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be making the Savannah Bottoms. For materials, you will need a half yard of swimwear fabric, quarter inch rubber elastic, scissors or a rotary cutter, pins, and you'll need the pattern for the Savannah Bottoms. So the first step is cutting your pieces. You're gonna cut two of the front, two of the back, and two of the band piece. Now match your bottom pieces together, fronts with fronts and backs with backs, and sew just along the leg holes, attaching elastic during this step as well. Now take the back piece to the right side and insert it inside of the front piece. Align the gusset and pin, and then align the sides so they're right sides together. Do this with both sides and then sew the sides together as well as the gusset. Now that our front and back piece are attached, you might choose to top stitch the waist so that it's closed. This way we don't have to deal with as much loose fabric. Now it's time to sew the waistband and attach it. So first, I'm gonna take my waistband pieces, match them with right sides together, and I'm gonna use a straight stitch to sew inside those corners. Once the waistband is done, you're going to open it and then match it with right sides together against the top line of the bottoms. So we're breaking this into two steps. And during this first step, you're gonna use a straight stitch again, if it's easier for you, and you're gonna stitch the waistband to the top line of the bottoms. So now the waistband is attached to the bottoms. But as you can see, we still have one raw edge left. So this is where it gets tricky, but the result is definitely worth it. So we're gonna be using the sandwich method. And my goal is to get this edge with this edge. And to do that, I'm going to sandwich the rest of the contents of the bottoms until my fingers touch and I can get those two sides with right sides together. If we sew, we're gonna be able to pull the entire waistband through as we sew with right sides together the whole time. And when you sew, stop before you reach the end and leave about a one inch hole. There's no need to attach elastic at this point. So finally, using the hole that we left, we're gonna take the entire bottoms to the right side. Finish off that hole either with an invisible stitch or a top stitch. And here's the final result for the Savannah bottoms. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I love these bottoms, they're super comfy. I think they'd be great for maybe people who are pregnant or just want a little bit of extra belly room. Since it doesn't have a seam at the top of the waist, these are very, very comfy. So I hope you love these as much as I do. Make sure to check out the pattern at edgewateravenue.com. Visit us on Instagram, our Facebook group, and yeah, that about covers it.